Breaking Uma Abedin, try to have him killed, send her to Gitmo by Liberty Bell for VeteranAF.com. Over the past several weeks, two new congressional investigations have been launched into the two-time failed presidential candidate Hillary Clinton from when she served as Secretary of State. In uh, recently discovered documents, it reveals that a top Clinton confidant broke the law, and we all know who that is. Uma Abedin has been in the news lately after it was discovered that she backed emails up on her convicted pedophile husband Anthony Weiner's computer. Now, if you remember correctly, these are the very same emails that prompted former disgraced FBI Director James Comey to reopen an investigation into Hillary Clinton that ended right before the November election. Of course, Hillary and her buddies all claimed that these emails were nothing, and it was just a ploy by conservatives to sway the election, but that appears to be far from the truth after what was just discovered. Late last week, Judicial Watch, a government watchdog group, published a report that shows at least 18 classified emails buried within the close to close to uh, 800 documents on Clinton's private email server when she worked at the State Department. Of those 18 buried emails, 13 of them contained classified information that discussed military missions in Saudi Arabia, the Hog, Egypt, uh, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Syria, Lebanon, Hamas, and the Palestinian Liberation Organization. Also in these emails, Abedin reveals the identity of a CIA official who then put this person at a heightened risk of being killed or attacked. Here is more from Judicial Watch. Judicial Watch revealed today that there are at least 18 classified emails in the 798 documents recently produced by the State Department from the FBI's investigation into former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's illicit email system. The emails were found on the laptop of Anthony Weiner, who is the estranged husband of former Clinton aide Uma Abedin. Abedin was Clinton's deputy chief of staff. Weiner is a disgraced former congressman and New York mayoral candidate who pleaded guilty to transferring obscene material to a minor. Abedin kept a non-state.gov email account on Hillary Clinton's notorious email server that she used repeatedly for government business. There are five new classified emails among the 147 new. Abedin worked uh, work-related documents released by the State Department on Friday, December 29, 2017. Thirteen emails containing classified information will, were also found on Wiener's laptop computer that had already been released to the public. This, the, uh, this classified material includes uh, discussions about Saudi Arabia, the Hog, uh, Egypt, uh, South Africa, Zimbabwe, the identity of a CIA official, Malawi, uh, the war in Syria, Lebanon, Hamas, and the PLO. On two occasions, classified material was sent by Abedin on her ClintonEmail.com account to Wiener's laptop sent to Anthony Campaign on November 25, 2010. The email discusses an upcoming call with Prince Saud of expected WikiLeaks leaks. Abedin sent classified information the following day to Wiener's laptop concerning a call that Jeff, presumably then U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Near uh, Eastern Affairs, Jeffrey uh, Feltman had uh, with uh, United Am Arab Emirates Prince uh, Prime Minister, excuse me, Abdullah bin Zayed. 
The Wiener laptop also contains classified material from Aberdeen's BlackBerry from July 9, 2011 email contained classified information regarding a then upcoming call between Clinton and Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu. On November 25, 2011, classified information was sent regarding Feldman's uh, notes on the Egyptian Ministry of Foreign Affairs impression of the Hamas uh, Palestine Liberation Organization talks. On May 4, 2012, additional classified material from the BlackBerry uh, backup was sent. Judicial Watch's work uh, in a federal court holding the government accountable to the rule of law has forced the State Department to finally release these documents, said Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. The classified information on Wiener's laptop is part of a pattern of mishandling national security material by Clinton and her aides. The Wiener emails emphasize the need for the Justice Department to conduct a fresh, serious investigation of Hillary Clinton's and Uma Abedin's obvious violations of law. That's why we are pleased to learn that the Justice Department has repeatedly at least begun asking questions about the Clinton classified material. Judicial Watch has no doubt that the Justice Department is taking these steps due to the ongoing disclosures of Clinton email misconduct from Judicial Watch's lawsuits. There is no reason that Aberdeen should not be behind bars for what she did as well as her boss Hillary Clinton. These two women put the entire country and many others in jeopardy and they need to be held accountable for their treasonous deeds. Well, I'd like to know if it wasn't for Judicial Watch, would we have gotten to the bottom of these emails? Because it seems like uh, the Justice Department is not really looking into all of this, unless Judicial Watch uh, raised the uh, red flag saying look into this. I mean, it, it, you know, it sort of makes you wonder sometimes. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.